welcome back to my channel creatives and by sneha in today's video we'll be seeing how to shade a portrait i'll be using different pencils pencil eraser blending stamp graphite pencil and tissue paper firstly trace the image you want to draw firstly to blend a large part of area we will use graphite pencil we can uh, take out the powder and blend it with a piece of cloth or tissue to easily blend large part of area so to create shadows in large part of area we will use graphite pencil Since I have considered the lighting, lighting coming from the top right of the portrait, the middle section of the basket will be light in color, and the left section will be dark in color. gradient effect for the texture of the basket use a pencil with light strokes so you can create a texture according to the light fall since the light is falling on top right of the basket the right right part of the basket has light strokes Use stamps, hand or tissue paper depending on the shade you want to create. For example, if you want to create a more lighter shade or little blending, you can use the tip of your finger. Or if you want to blend in properly like a light shade or gradient shade, you can use stamp. And if you want to blend large areas, you can use tissue paper or cloth piece to make it easier. Because the design in the dupatta is prominent, I am using darker shade of pencil to create the design.
protection of the hair depending on the direction of the light. First we have darker base and then use a lighter pencil to create the strands of hair. Since the drape on the left side falls under the shadow of the face, we are using darker pencil to create the gradient effect. So for the diamond, we are using darker shade. Repeat the same process to create the hair texture depending on the direction of the fall of light and use the lighter fingers to create the strands. As the right part of the face falls under the shadow of the drape, we are creating a dark, darker effect on the edge of the drape. Always use some type of paper to prevent the smudging of the previously done work. The light is from the upper right corner. We are creating a darker shade on the bottom side of the rhombus. Because the light is on the up, upper right corner, we will be having a shade effect on the right side of the face. So I will be using darker strokes or darker position to create the gradient effect. There will be no shading in the left part of the face and no shadow will be It's long. three hours.
of the crucial part of semi portrait. So, take your time to blend in right areas at the right places to create that beautiful eyes.
to enjoy how to create a beautiful portrait with the right amount of shading depending on the light. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell beside the subscribe button to receive an alert whenever a new video is uploaded. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.